Morris, the area was brought down by Danny Ward in the area. Tariq Dini took responsibility for the spot. Just two weeks after being released from prison, it sealed a stunning walk of comeback in the final division display. The individual was ever parried, Tariq Dini on target, moving the moves for manager for the next on the sidelines. Quality of Watford's finishing. Troy Deeney thundered home number six, which incidentally is the same as the run of league games. Leeds have now gone without winning. What a performing congratulations to Franco Zola. But it was Deeney who had the last word eight minutes past the hour. Hop condensed to hit the sixth and final goal against Leeds. But this one was much more important. Currently enjoying their best run under Gianfranco Zola, and Troy Deeney made another win look straightforward. That was his third goal in successive games, this after just 21 minutes. Pressure on Barnsley boss Keith Hill would only intensify at the hands of a Watford side on the rise. Troy Deeney celebrating his 100th appearance for the club with the opening goal after the league. Without a win in nine games now, as Fernando Forestieri's quickly taken free kick was tucked away by Deeney, taking his impressive scoring rate to six goals in court. Watford to the game, but were well beaten as their seventh match unbeaten run came to an end. Troy Deeney's stoppage time strike, a small consolation, but Gianfranco Zola admitted it was too little, too late. The Hornets have won one of their last six games in the championship. This is Al Menabdi. Troy goes here now to Troy Deeney, and more time for him, and he finds a way through. Between the legs. Of Thomas Kishan, it's double figures this season now for Troy Deeney. And they're waiting. And got the initiative. The Hornets with Sting on the counter. And Troy Deeney with the goal. As here, Brighton were torn asunder. Deeney holds the run, and played on there by Alams. Deeney fires home. But now we have a three one lead. First half injury time when Vitra attempted a challenge out of Callum Woods. It looked outside the box, but a penalty was given. Deeney stayed ice cool, rolled it in. His reward for the break. The catch and Amiga stood up the perfect cross for Troy Deeney. Mark had concerns about the defending that time. He was in for support on four. The outcome looked inevitable. Vitra to Anya to Deeney, 3 0. Watford are averaging three goals a game. Well, Watford, inspired by their low knees, are one of the surprises of the season. 16 goals from Troy Deeney have helped as well. The striker with a troubled past seems to be building a brighter future. McCarthy is off his line and Deeney is in. made a mistake, but a lot of time to sit and think. A very surreal moment, obviously losing uh, contact with my family and, you know, just your normal day-to-day -day perks of obviously just being able to uh, walk the shop and do whatever you wanted to do normally and um, yeah, it was a massive shock to the system but uh, after a few days, maybe a week or so, we got my head around it and uh, started concentrating on what was more important. First week I was uh, cleaning toilets. They moved me on to the gym and I was a gym orderly, which was uh, which basically means I was in the gym all day, but I was um, cleaning the gym and making sure that the weights were put back properly. And then I moved after that to an, an open facility in, uh, in Warrington, which was called Fawn Cross Jail. And um, again, I was a gym orderly there, but that opened jail a bit more, uh, bit more relaxed in terms of um, the rules and whatnot. But, it's still not a very nice place to go because it's obviously a lot of people that have done long sentences that are coming back out. The incident happened, it sort of shook my world a little bit and I thought, right, I need to start getting my head on this. Now, since you came out, have you had a lot of love from the club? Definitely, I think, um, you know, I've had it from everyone involved in the club, not just, you know, people that work here and the boss and, and whatnot. We've had uh, fans just on the street have all said, like, since I've come back, the way I've handled myself, um, I think they've seen a change in me as well. I'm not as, uh, as wild as I used to be. I'm very more relaxed and more family orientated. When I first came back, they thought I was going to be very, very much overweight, but because I knew I was getting close to uh, a release date, obviously all my energies then um, was trying to get myself into some sort of condition. 
As you know, if you come back overweight, you always play catch up. So I didn't want to be playing too much catch up. My first couple of days back, I was I was faster and, and running further than I was prior going away. So there was very shots. Do you still think you can get the automatic second place? I think last week was obviously a massive week in terms of if we'd have lost all three games, and we'd have said definitely we would have had to settle for playoffs. I suppose is uh, the way we would have put it. But we. Um, we're unbeaten, but we haven't actually moved anywhere. We're only three points behind now, so we're still waiting on Hull to make a mistake. Seeing Danny Graham leave and go to the Premier League, Marvin Sordell the same. Are you hopeful of joining them or getting to the Premier League? Yeah, of course. Every every professional wants to be at the top of their uh, the top of their profession, and we're all the same. It's like that. It's where us that all want to get into the Premier League, so we're all pushing for the same thing. I still think there's a lot of teams that are fighting against relegation that are going to have a say in the in the, uh, in the battle at the top. So now we, uh, we have to make sure that we do our job.